Hey everybody, this is Janet D, the PT. And as a licensed physical therapist, I'm gonna teach you how to properly shovel snow without hurting your back or your heart. All right, here's a great tip for you, okay? I use cooking spray and I spray down my shovel, okay? So, I already know, you're gonna ask me, do I need an ergonomic shovel or a regular one? Guess what, it doesn't matter. Cause if you're doing these next five steps right, it doesn't matter what kind of shovel you got. All right, so I sprayed down the shovel with my cooking spray. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna get a slight bend in my knees, okay? I'm gonna use half of the width of the shovel to fill with snow, okay? And so then I'm gonna do a row, okay? And then when I get to the end, look, there is no bending, lifting, throwing of snow. All I do is I move the handle so it's straight, and guess what? The snow comes off because I sprayed it down with the oil, right? So when I go into my next row, I'm going to overlap part of my first row. And then lift the handle and there's the snow. So I'm gonna be building a snow wall on my driveway, right? So I can get my car out safely. Okay, so a couple of great tricks to know is that it is better for you to do multiple rows of snow than to try to power through and get as much snow removed as quickly as possible because that's where your heart and your back go wrong, okay? It is better to get the extra laps or the extra rows of work than to hurt yourself trying to do it quick and easy. All right, so if you really like this video, go ahead and press like. Um, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, subscribe to the Janet D, the PT YouTube channel. And if there's any other comments or suggestions for videos in the future, go ahead and drop them down and I'll get back to you. In the links below, I will write down the five steps to safely shovel and a couple of links to cooking sprays or um, shovels that would be great for you. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.